I wanted to give you a Docker update. Um, what I've currently done is I've moved to my own uh, three-part junkie repository within the Docker Hub. In order to find it, you can just go to the uh, hub.docker.com and in the search bar here, just type in three-part junkie, one word like this, and that'll pull up this site. Uh, then you can explore the, um, the three-part junkie SSMC and uh, currently the latest is 241 and then how to get it installed and running. I've cleaned it up a lot so it's uh, it runs a lot easier, um, more efficient. So check that out. And then I've also got the IMC running now as well uh, on Mac in a container 472. And these are the steps to get it to work in a Mac. I haven't tested it on Linux. It should actually be easier on Linux. Uh, and I have not tested it on Windows yet, but I do intend to get around to doing that. Once I update those, then I'll put the notes in here as well. Okay, so the old repository that I had in the previous demo, that one's gonna be going away. This one will be the only one I will use going forward as far as um, the, the three par related uh, images. Okay, so let's uh, do a quick demo of how both of these work. Um, I've already downloaded the images and you can see here if I do docker uh, ps-a, there's no containers. Um, so in order to download the images, I would just do docker pull, and then whichever one I want, let's say 3par junkie SSMC, and, it and then enter. I've already got it, so it's just going to complete. So the image is up to date. But I've already got them, um, uh, docker images. I already got them on the machine. We'll go ahead and get those fired up so you can see how they work. So we'll do the SSMC first. That'll be docker run TID, and we'll name it SSMC. And then I need to um, map, or I choose to map port 443 to, which is the HTTPS port. We're going to go to 8443, which is the secure port for the IMC. And then um, 3PAR junky SSMC, and that'll um, start the container. Well, it'll build the container and then get it started. Okay, so if we do docker ps, you'll see that we have a running container and it already has the port forwarding enabled as well. And I don't have to do this, it's up and running, but if you want to check to verify that the service for the SSMC is running, you can still do docker exec or execute uh, on the SSMC netstat an grep listen. And what I'm looking for is port 8443. All right, because I'm mapping the external port 443 to 8443. All right, so then to test it, we could just do uh, HTTPS localhost and go yes. And there we go, I just have to set the credentials. Let me jump on my VPN real quick. Okay, so we'll create the credentials here. Three bar junkie. There we go. Then we'll add a machine. I'll just add one. So you can see that it works. And we'll accept the certificate. And once that goes green, we'll close the window and that'll drop us into the SSMC. Okay, that's done. And then we're here, we can log in. And there we go, we have our machine connected. Okay, so working in a container perfectly. All right, let's um, close this. And in order to stop it, we just do docker stop SSMC. That will shut it down.
Okay, and we can verify that it stopped. No running services. But we can see the container is still there. So in order to restart it later, we just need to do docker start as systemc. Okay, and then we can see, see it's running docker ps. So it's running there, port mapping is all working. And then, um, you know, we could pull the browser back up, go to HTTPS localhost. And yes, the session has expired. We need to log in again. 3PAR ADM. And there we are, reconnected. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close that again. So you can see it's a lot cleaner than the last time. And when that stops, we'll go ahead and get started with the IMC demo. Okay. So now for the IMC on Mac, it's a little different, uh, a little bit more complex than what we just went through. But we'll start with um, OpenAB X Quartz. And then this is going to open up a bash shell in Quartz. And then just do X host um, plus, and you can just accept that and it'll accept all connections or you can specify your IP address. 168.1.29. And then, uh, and this is, you know, just in a terminal, right? So it could still see everything. Docker images, see, just a different shell. Okay, so now that that's been added, um, we just need to start the run script. So it would be run, uh, oh, sorry, docker run detach mode, name IMC, and we'll do uh, display equals 192.168.1.29, display zero, and we need to do a um, map the temporary file, so temp.x11. You'll, you only have to do this once. <clears throat> Colon temp dot x1 x and then three par junky IMC. And that'll start the container and hopefully launch the IMC. There we go. Just takes a second the first time. And you can see that the IMC is running. And we could just load the same system. And there we go. We have the IMC configured in a container. All right, so we can see our host, hosts, provisioning, all of this works. All right, and then when I'm done, I can just exit out of it. Yes, Docker PS shows that it's done. All right successfully closed it and if I want to relaunch it we just do docker run or sorry docker start IMC and there we go it'll launch and we just connect to the host that we want again Now let's just connect another host as well. Why not, right? And we'll 
let this log into the other system. Here we go. So that's, uh, yeah, that's it. And we can see that it's not running again. Docker PS. And Docker PS-A shows our containers. There we go. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to look me up on the hub, 3PAR Junkie. Thanks a lot.